Welcome to the Sports Broadcasting Center. I'm Miles with Luke, Christian, and Andre, and we're going to be giving three or keys to the NBA Finals preview. Or to the NBA Finals. So I think the keys for the Raptors are number one, they need to get their bench players involved. That means role players like Serge Ibaka, Fred Van Vliet has really stepped up for them, and Kyle Lowry also needs to get going. He's been a little bit lackluster in the first two games and they're going to need to get him going if they want to have any shot of taking a serious lead in Golden State. Um, I think one of the biggest keys for the Raptors is taking advantage of the injuries that the Warriors are suffering from, with Klay Thompson being possibly out, Kevin Durant being out, and Boogie Cousins having limited minutes. I think it's a big key for them to take advantage of those mismatches, those positions, and win game three. I think the keys for the Warriors to win are just having better um, rolls off the bench as Quinn Cook and uh, having not having Durant most likely for Game Three and hopefully probably not having Clay Thompson for Game Three. Uh, they had they need to have more roll off the bench from um, the backup players. I think the key for the Warriors to win Game Three is Draymond continue to play how he's playing and Boogie Cousins. Uh, I think Draymond had a, a triple double last game and Boogie had 11 and 10, which which is like perfect for them. And I think if Steph and Clay continue to play how, them, how they've been playing, I think the Warriors will take the 2-1 lead in order. All right, so what are you guys' thoughts on the um, on how it's going to plan out, or pan out? Well, for game three, I see Oracle being a really rowdy arena. I think the Raptors are going to have to silence the crowd quickly, maybe go on a quick run. And they're going to need to get role players involved. Kawhi needs to keep playing his game, and if the Raptors can get all their players involved, I think they can win and take a 2-1 lead. Um, seeing as this is the first home game for the Warriors and coming off the win in Game 2, the Warriors fans are going to be going crazy this whole game, and with the momentum that the Warriors had at the end of Game 2, I think it will carry on into this game and they'll win. I think the Warriors will just keep on what they're doing because, you know, the Raptors and lots of the other series they played in, the teams have had leads at halftime, and the Warriors have came back from those leads and won the game. I think that's what's going to happen in um, the Bay Area. I agree with you. I think that Toronto, they're, they're going to get out to a good lead, and then the third quarter Warriors are going to come back, and they're going to end up sealing the victory, and it's they're going to go up 2-1, like I said. Well, before we you know, talk about Game 3, we also need to factor in injuries. The Warriors are shorthand. We don't know exactly who's going to play and who won't play, so... Personally, I think injuries for the Warriors will play a big part in Game 3 and ultimately, ultimately the rest of the series. Uh, that's that's definitely true because with Clay Thompson saying he's okay, but then Steve Kerr making contradicting comments to that, it's a big question mark for the Warriors for the rest of this final series. I think uh, 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 Siakam and Leonard need to have better combined games as Leonard had 34 the last game and uh, Siakam had you know more points than Leonard in the first game. I think they need to have more combined game and all, everybody's playing as a team and that's how the Raptors could win but Golden State is going to take the whole series in Toronto in six. I agree with Luke and Christopher. I think the only way that the Raptors win is if they take advantage of the, uh, the injuries that the Warriors have and if uh, Siakam steps up and does what he does. All right, well, that's it for, from Sports Broadcasting Center. I'm Miles with Luke, Christian, and Andre.